Well, I'm gonna say you go for you need to look at the skills and see which one's best for you. It doesn't seem like that's how Keith would play it. it seems like Keith would go whatever Celtis armor is. And that's a gun lance heavy armor that is. <laughs> is it actually? Oh right, it does have have a capacity boost, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So what so what does the hunter do? Is it just like a regular like Final Fantasy style game where you have skills and shit based on what your weapon is? Yes. Okay, so for the you okay, so you were saying that most of the boss fights are one versus four. So is it you and three monsters or you and four monsters? It's you and your monster and then you have an ally and their monster. Uh Because for the story you get NPC allies, but when it comes to post game, you're you're expected to team up with friends. <clears throat> you're expected to have a friend that plays the game, or you can just try and do everything solo, but it's harder. You know, I was not expecting the like second one of this game that they actually like upgraded the cutscene budget by honestly a lot. So, looking forward to Endgame when me and Keith are grinding for rare dens and rare monsters. <laughs> You'll get to see all my funky design choices in action. <laughs> Do we now? Because I always make weird things. <laughs> Do you now? Yeah, all my monster designs have been weird. Like whenever I make whenever I make a monster in stories, it's not a conventional monster. It's gonna have some funky gimmick to it. <laughs> so one thing that I've noticed from this game's opening so far, it's showing a lot of explosions and just clusterfucks of enemies. But I'm pretty sure that's not what they're what they're actually going to, going to do with this. How can you be so sure? Because it's not really what this game is about. You don't really tend to hit multiple things at the same time with any bullet, even if it's a freaking explosive. Ooh, there's a How good jaggy here. Yeah. yeah, and guess which game got the great jaggy? I'll give you a clue. Right? It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Based great jaggy doesn't appear in Rise. He's too good for Rise. Is he now? But have you tried to uh, fight I him? I definitely Rise? want a great jaggy. Holy shit, he is, he is really hard. Um, but yeah, he, he's a great jaggy. He's the first monster to have great in his name. Wasn't he the first monster? No, yeah, that was Velocidrome. <clears throat> was it? Uh, since he's a speed monster, technically, what does that Yeah, the first monster, you, well, technically, the first monster you ever see in, in, in the franchise was an Aptonoth. Crap. Because it appeared in the trailer. Well, Keith died. <laughs> did you did you get carted by a by a great jaggy? My fossil drone died, yeah. Right, time to Keith. switch out mons. He he got his he got his yeah, wrecked by a great jaggy. They don't call him a great jaggy for nothing. <clears throat> Let's send out Kud Yankaku. I swear to god, if you don't have a Yankaku or a Yangaruga named Ian, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Are you even subscribed to him? Yeah. Really? Why? I want to, I, I want to see Ian Kuku on your team. Well, I think I've got, <laughs> I think I've got, I think I've got, I think I've got a blue one to hatch anyway. If it's blue, you should be naming them something funky anyway, just for the fun of it. Should always give you monsters funky nicknames. But yeah, Ian Kutku should be a staple of your team. 
<laughs> for early game at least. <laughs> like I said, I'm not carrying Yanko Goose to the end. Once I get some of that, I will take it out. Not to the end, no, but for the early game, definitely. Hold on. So, Joe, I have a question for you. So, this game actually has so what I'm going to assume Yanko is a... And blue Yanko <laughs> just uh, this game has what I'm going to assume based on this game is a terrorist that is group just funny. What the fuck? that are known as a squad of indies. The terrorist group's name is Indies. Yan Yanko Ku's kinship yeah. is just dumb. <laughs> Yanko Ku's dumb. <laughs> it ain't a country thing. You whacked it across his head and it launches at the fucking monster. <laughs> Right, yeah, Yanko Kua funky little birds, that's their entire gimmick. <laughs> yeah, but what's blue Yanko Kua's gimmick? Well uh, it, it's a blue Kuku. Um, I think you get some slightly different attacks. It's not a brute Tigrax. Also, it's so weird that Keith can't hear me. So it's like Red Kezu then, it's just a color palette. Uh, actually, can you can you have Keith check if he for some reason muted me by just accident? Uh, Keith, can you check to see whether or not you muted Yasuda? I'm not I'm not muted him. Yes, but has he looked? Because I am clearly checked? talking and I can clearly <laughs> hear him because he just said that he looked. Sorry, sorry, he just said said that he didn't mute me. Have you checked? Now I can hear you. And it turns out what did you change? It turns out it turns out I turned your volume off. Well, I guess that's technically not muting me. I mean, technically it is, though. <clears throat> yeah, but it wasn't on purpose. I didn't know if I actually did it. <coughs> right, uh, Great Jaggy's egg, is it the purple one with red spots? I think so. Yeah, in that case, that's my second one, then. If not, I can always come back and farm eggs later. Humble bird wyvern egg. That might be it, because there's a bird wyvern, so. Are they? Are you sure? I'm 100% of their bird wyverns. Mm. Well, every raptor is a bird wyvern, so I would assume so. We request the destruction of our company's prototype MTs. The pilots of the MTs are researchers employed by our company. There's something the here with me. Yeah. Have come under increasing scrutiny as of late. Oh, that's one's all took down. They, right. apprehended, they somehow right. discovered we were onto them and escaped in the MTs. They've made their way to the underground city and are resisting capture. The area of operations is currently being rebuilt. Therefore, would like to keep the amount of collateral damage in that portion of the city to a minimum. Eliminate the researchers. They've outlived their usefulness. Good. Uh, new monster. <clears throat> what flavor of new monster? <clears throat> System. Engaging combat mode. You know when people. It is Coral Pecco. Now switch monster, switch my fossil drone into my Kulayaku. You know, when people told me that this game in the series was ridiculously lazy and long for no reason, I didn't listen. Apparently this one is just, here are a bunch of a bunch of small maps. Now do like 10, like 20 second levels that have more loading screen than actual levels on this map. And oh my god, it looks like there's a hundred different freaking levels in the game by the percent bars. The convoy is expected to pass through Neo Isaac's underground residence. While MT escorts will be present, the real concern is time. Strict security measures are no, the headbreak is coming soon. Quickly. Our goal here isn't the goods, but rather to harass by keeping pressure on Zeo Matrix. Are you gonna use every monster so you can show off their kinship attacks, Drew? I don't know. Main system. Oh hey, the map changed! Thank god! Mm, 
that is Yank that is a uh, Crow Peco down. He didn't retreat either, so no before they can escape. Paintballer. Because if you didn't paintball it, you're not likely to get him to retreat. Oh, so I have to. So if I want to get an egg, I've got to use a paintball to make a retreat. Yeah, within the last three turns of the battle, you have to use a paintball. Uh, I know that now. What did you think paintballs were for? Eating. Destruction of all targets confirmed. I'm still learning the game, you know. No, you aren't. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's a paintball. What did you assume a paintball was for? Uh, -huh. uh, making things red. I know they're pink. They're they're always pink in Monster Hunter. Yep. Pink balls, more like. The Indies have initiated an attack on a large elevator facility. In the uh, I forgot about my my my, my bossy drone. That's out. The bridge that spans the elevator. You can switch. <laughs> the Indies have engaged. Yeah, but I'm already halfway through the battle, so floor, no point. But never on this scale. It'll the be over and done with. To the area, and Two jaggies are dead, so. Keep in mind that there is a city. And the third one is dead. But I've got, got one life left, so be careful. Engaging combat mode. There's a city you should probably be careful. You know, when they said be careful not to fall off, I was expecting something easy to fall off. It's not. Like, you'd have to, like, try and fall off this. Maybe there's an achievement for falling off. Uh, no, 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 you actually lose. Which also makes no sense, because the reason you lose is falling off Yank would damage the city you fall you. on. But you can fly! Mission objective achieved. Why don't you fight the cook, Kudra? Uh, I'm ch changing out my lead mon for a start to... Bulldrome! Ah, uh, Keith's favorite monster, a bulldrome. No, that's Jeff's favorite. Is it really? Yeah, Jeff loves bulldrones. Really? Uh, um, Yankoku is technical, so power out your technical. <coughs> this is an urgent request. A squad of MTs that we dispatched to Neo. The perpetrators of the attack are the Indies. Normally, we'd be able to brush them aside. Support our MTs and destroy all aggressors. Deduction. Can you, can you, can you, um, put stuff on your monsters like decorations and stuff? No. Like head, head masks or like the characters do? No. That's a shame. Oh, my bullion got defeated. Oh. Your bullion got defeated. <clears throat> Feet. They, there, good. Joe, I just did it for you. Let's Thank swap, you. Yeah. Let's swap out to Pookie Pookie. Monsties use Tailspin and I will use. There is no way you are a technical type. What is it? Nergigante. No. No, Nergi should be, be a power type. No, Nergigante should be the kind that always falls over. Hold on, regular Nergigante or Ruiner Nergigante? Regular. Uh, this no. is a regular Nerg. Okay, then yeah, just power type. Oh, I'll find out once I get one. I'm just fighting one at the minute. <laughs> okay, now it's starting to use power attacks. A sample of a new material we are developing was stolen from one of our labs. The group that stole the material also took out our security team. 
The latest reports indicate the enemy force is small in number, but the area they've occupied yeah, is full of traps. Dead. Please eliminate the thief. Nerg looks so good in this game. Does he? That's good. Get off. Ow. The area is littered with mines. Right. So this is the blue Yankoku egg because the only egg I can grab. Areas littered with mines. Answer, just don't touch the floor. Jaggy, another pecker. I don't trust this nag. Luckily, I've got a good answer for it. <clears throat> Do you now? It's always good. Yeah, I've got a Zenoga. If I remember rightly, no Gigantes don't like thunder. Or blast. Right, so what's this one here? Switch to Fossil Drum because jump. Oh my god! What? The Nergi dive bomb almost one shot at everyone. I mean, that's actually in about what it normally does, isn't it? It did if you didn't have your armor mats, though. I mean, that sounds like regular Nergigante stuff to me. Yeah. yeah. I just wasn't expecting it. I mean, Elder Dragon is supposed to be the hottest monsters in stories, too, so... They're the top tier monsters. So I assume Tio's turn Chris are just as powerful. This is an emergency we'll see. They were, they were extremely strong in Stories 1, but they were a DLC in Stories 1, so... A dropship is being prepped as we speak. For reasons we'd rather not divulge, the storage complex cannot be abandoned. We are prepared to use all available resources in order to defend it. However, the limited number of MTs available to us may not be enough. Your assistance in this matter would be appreciated. Please, secure the floor that you've been assigned. This mission is vital to our future operations in the old Gal region. We must not. Main system, engaging combat mode.
destruction of all enemy forces confirmed. Thanks for your help, Raven. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. Sensitive nature have just come into our possession. It seems the old Gal Bureau has concocted a plan to infiltrate our headquarters. This is indeed bad news, as the location is also used to house well, the egg. materials provided to us by our sponsors. The currently, all weapons and materials are in a shuttered room on the 15th floor. There's also a new egg I'm not will not withstand. A determined enemy attack. Please position yourself on the 15th floor. Prevent the attackers from breaching the shutter and discovering. We are also placing a support team in position on the roof. Pick off any targets that man. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Raven, do you copy? Be on the lookout for any units that slip by our team on the roof. Honestly, the voice acting also really picked up in this one. Raven, two units managed to get past us. Take them out. Thank God. I don't know how long it would have been able to last for the, for the prior one. I'm going to say, it couldn't really get much worse though, could it? <laughs> Arc Rise Fantasia. Nothing is worse than Arc Rise Fan <laughs> Fantasia. I don't care what you say. Top support. Three units are headed your way. And for the one guy watching, go Google the voice acting in in Arc Rise Fantasia. You will you will wish you never heard it. Like oh. I've seen like YouTube videos where like people's it was like people had their children dub over a game and it's bad. That's better. Our material storage facility has been commandeered by armed forces. We'd like you to help us recap all missions. Alright, we've got to hang the dive bomb from Nerg. This is being done to prevent the enemy forces from collapsing. Your target is an AC patrolling warehouse 4. Eliminate the AC and at the same time, minimize any damage done to materials stored there. We may cancel the operation, depending upon the amount of damage you incur. Ooh, destroy the reverse leg jumping mech when there's a two foot ceiling. Oh, never mind, they actually made it bigger. Avoid the storage containers and fuel tanks. We've been instructed to avoid the mission with excessive damage as a player. Oh, he actually has some, has some health to him. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. The 
Bureau of Control is attempting to locate one of our bases in Old Gal. If they succeed, we're in trouble. We have to stop their search. Apparently, they're not having much luck, but they are in the vicinity and don't seem to be deterred. We have verified that they have limited offensive capability and would make eat for this reason. We've decided that sending a raven is... ACs detected. Don't bother with the ACs. Concentrate your attacks on the targets. Um, I've got these um, stimulants. And I think I increase the time while the monsters available in slot. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Yeah, you want to use those later on. <laughs> what do we want to use later on? Stimulants. Uh, so they're basically like the Carbos and stuff from Pokemon. No, not quite. They unlock gene slots if you have locked gene slots on your monsters. Hmm. <laughs> but you don't really want to use them early because you're going to be replacing a lot of your early mons. And I'm not sure how easy to get hold of they are. Watch as you just have to fight a white Fatalis or something for him. Which you can just one-shot with your freaking Monoblos. I mean... I, I probably would use that strategy if I was having to farm for them like that. <laughs> yeah, just grab a whole bunch of Manablos, spam one shot. No, I do it with Nacilla for the ultimate disrespect. Fair enough. Anginos stuff's quite powerful. Use an in yeah, use a, use a little spider to one shot a black dragon. To alleviate the situation, we will be conducting a raid on the Sword Military Material. The plan entails launching attacks on several of the warehouses at once. Doing this should keep their defenses off. I must stress, however, that the purpose of the mission is to capture materials stored in the warehouse. If a sufficient amount cannot be su make sure the material... Main system. to fight some bracket years. Do you now? What do they give you? Yeah, I want uh, his weapons and armor. Oh, you still have to craft stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see how long it takes Keith to get that that Kezu special cut. <laughs> uh, I need a new armor set. Can't make anything yet. Mm. 
I actually just picked up something that I'm hoping it is what I think it is. Main system. It is! We've succeeded in locating one of the Indies operational headquarters in the vicinity of Old Gal. It's a storage Okay, so the weapons you have are stuck on upgrades, so I need to keep on putting in and out of armor and weapons then. Yeah, you need to keep crafting more stuff as you move along. <laughs> yeah, so right now I need to form monsters with raw materials to get a new armor set and new weapons. Oh, right, I'm gonna get one game near enough to hit one hit. Yeah, you're at the same point I am, pretty much, but both I need to get some new weapons and armor upgraded. Does element do does element really matter on your weapon like great Yes it does. Yeah it does. It's, it's, it does more damage or less damage depending on the monster's weakness or resistance to the element. Regardless of the weapon type. So the more monsters I unlock, the more elements I need to actually make for a counter of each monster that I fight in later on. So yeah. what you're saying is you're grinding in a grind game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As God intended. I mean it makes sense, you I mean you're already grinding for eggs, so you're grinding for weapons and armor as well, like in any monster in any monster to the end. And let's hatch all these eggs. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what I should get for you. I've got a blue Yankaku with two from the attack. I've got a Royal Ludwig, one defense. Honestly, their stat buffs are very, very minimal. You want to focus on the genes they have. <laughs> Another blue young tattoo. The genes are the skill, isn't it? And also the passive abilities as well. Stuff like crit boost or um not crit boost, crit eye or um kinship up or defense up or health up, all that stuff. Well this Jankaku has got HTH Master which is winning head to heads makes it kinship gauge a lot faster, that's a passive skill. Yeah, so if you're using that if you if you can trigger head to heads with it, which isn't too hard. It does make build more kinship so you'll get more cancer for your ult. And this one is a great jaggy egg. And this one's got nothing special. It's got a health boost and it's got war raw raw. Health health boost isn't awful. Like especially early on. I mean, I think Great Dragon probably won uh, Raptors, better than Flossy Drum anyway. Wait, in the early game, health boost is actually really good. It drops off later on, but for early game, it's good. Um, this one has got War Roar and non elemental Defense boost. Increases non elemental Defense. Yeah, so any monster that doesn't do elemental damage. 
which is a lot of them. And Another a lot of the scrap ones as well. Another blue Yanko too. This one is in order the break drill. Because in order, in order to balance the non, -ele the non elemental monsters, because they don't benefit from elemental bonuses, they make them stronger. Other Paris. This one has got non elemental boost, killer crush, kin cost, and kin cost down. This one's got two passive skills. Reduces the charge. <laughs> well, if I, if I pass its genes down, you can pass its genes down, or you can keep it as a, you can keep it and use it. It's not a bad monster. Then we got an Azora's egg. And Azora's has got health boost, passive skill, and honey power. Mm, honey, of course. Eight. He recovers a small amount of user's HP at the start of each turn. Oh, it's, got health. it's got a bit of health regen, fair enough. That's not a bad ability. So I think what I'll do is I'll ditch Flossy Drone. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal um, mode. Actually, what, what does Yankaku do? That's a good question. Oh, what does it do besides Screech? Oh, uh, just fire attacks. The same as regular Yankaku. Uh, this one can do. This one's got critical hygiene. Head to head gene. Yeah, so uh, what's this other one got? This one's got bomb, bombardier gene, break drill, fireball, non element. Azoros. Could it be an actual so, useful it, rifle? Which Jackie is this girl? Main system. Engaging test okay, I can use it. Alright, so if I take this health boost great Jaggy. Replace it with Flossy Drone. Uh, where's that can where's that where's that can you queue? Yeah. The HTS mod the H T H Master Technical Ice Quit I Gene I've got a Yanko Ku here that's got a fire boost and also got a bombardier. Well, the bombardier doesn't do anything, but a fire boost is good. And what's my current Yanko Ku got? My current Yanko Ku has got head to head gene, rainbow gene, up to skill fireball gene. What does Rainbow uh, Gene do? 
Uh, Rainbow gene basically uh, it can it is this it is every color and it is every type of gene. So it's good for getting um, the bingo bonuses, but it doesn't offer anything by itself, and you can only have one per monster. So it has no abilities, but it allows you to get the bingos easier. Are important to our corporation's air transport needs. Your target is a massive bomber stationed at the base. It has practical applications. Right, so should I drop out my current Yankoku for the blue Yankoku, which is the one with the uh, IG and the head Probably. Head Probably. <laughs> but then again, my current Yankoku has got it. Link system. Engaging combat mode. It also, it's also got the fireball gene and the rust damper gene. Oh, it's black proof, right. Right, swap out swap out bull drone with Zoros. AC detected. Destroy it Okay, I'm oh, I'm so stuck with five into a rapper aren't I? Yeah you are. And your sixth slot is always for Rather until post game I think. <laughs> uh, does Royal Ludroth swim? Or can it swim? Does a Royal yeah. Ludroth swim? I don't know, ask Monster Hunter 3. Um I'm what does this roll of even have? Wait, does what a roll swim? Of... Wait, does a roll of just swim? Well, it can try. Boo! Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, this, this, this roll of this roll of just got water boost. <laughs> It's a new game, stop making fun of me asking dumb questions. I know my. I'm, I'm, I know I'm I... not making. He was, I'm not he making, was making a horrible pun again. <laughs> <laughs> it can quote unquote try, because it's Monster Hunter try, hardy har hard. <laughs> Alright, this full of drops is about water beast. Oh, good. So, so I might actually use it. Yeah, I think I'll use it for now. So, nice pop out <laughs> So, then again, if I swap out with. System yeah, swap out the cool Yaku because uh, I've got enough Budweiser as it is. Do you know? One can never have enough bird wyverns. And ooh, they made missiles expensive. And I think I'll swap the Yankaku for the blue Yankaku. Arena Mine, located in the Horwick Mountains, has been occupied by Zeo Matrix forces. The mine is abandoned and no longer. The Zeo Matrix forces are blatantly trespassing and are aware of this, as they've hired a raven of great reputation to lead the operation. The occupying forces have set up positions throughout the I'm just the buffing mine. my Zinogre at the minute. Concentrate Alright, Great Yaku can nest search. Main system. 
Lewis can only search a rock breaker, rock breaker. Yeah, right, Will Glove is a monster I needed. Because I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> it literally says what it can do in, in the sub box. Yes, it does. I was waiting for you to work it out. I need to take a break, I need to smoke and a drink. And get the next video done before continuing forward. Because all, all oh, I'm doing now is just farming shit. How is that video not done yet? Oh, it's 99%. Okay. Is my PSN... Yeah, I need to turn my PSN off since we're not going back to PSN. I swear to God, if you tell Jeff any of these, any of what? Can Lord, can Roll Logroff swim? Go, okay, Joe. Get to it. And don't forget oh, to we... and don't forget to include the pun. <laughs> I'm just gonna let Jeff know that he's missing some gold tonight. <laughs> At least I'm lot, at least I'm, at least I'm a lot further now, but I would much rather just keep on farming until I get what I need before continuing with the story. And then while I'm doing the video, I'll just do like a do a quick re rehab of my team. Instead of doing a voiceover, because I really want to do a voiceover to be fair. Time to get a drink and a smoke. I just got a lot of money as well because I completed like three or four sub quests in one go. Because the um, the tribe leader on the first island gave me like three or four sub quests and I managed to get all four done in one go. Probably going negative money on this one for missiles. Nice. <laughs> yep, I went negative 1,000. <laughs> Which doesn't matter, because I win. Our ground forces have suffered heavy losses during a recent wave of Zeo Matrix airborne mounted attacks. We have therefore the target is Zeo Matrix's airbase located in the port. Of mountains. I might be on world tomorrow. The story's got me invested. Destroy the radar array protecting the airbase. 
once their monitoring network has been raised, it will be easy to wipe out the base. So with the NPC um, companions, can you swap them out or you they just can rally its defenses? They come and they go. You must accomplish they kill, they come and go. The allotted time. So you can't get Kayla back. Have you tried? <clears throat> I would. I just assume you keep. I just assume you get. You keep companion for each area. All right. Next thing for me to do is level up all the monsters I just added to my party. <laughs> yeah, for a spawn. Wait, what did Jeff do? Fucking gallery does. Did he did he answer back as like blah 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 again? <laughs> no. Oh shit, I just got bombed. I actually really hurt. Let's grind out these new areas. Just now I've got real real no draw. At least it's good to know that the buyer friends are getting love again. The Leviathans always get love. <laughs> now, you don't understand why Riot didn't have uh, a guy Chris. Because everybody wanted it. Hello. So, is that Chappie coming back or is it someone else? Yeah, Chappie. Chappie. Hey, Chappie, how's it going? I'm good. Why miss? Not much. You missed me asking which had the questions. Oh, that's to be expected. Oh, so he asked if Royal Ludroth can swim, and then Joe's Joe's answer back was he can try. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's all that we. I get it, but like, I thought we, I thought Drew already knew that it could swim since he, that since uh, Joe told him that, uh, that Mr. Sunin can't swim. Why would that mean that Royal yeah, Ludoth can? Yeah, that's the point. I, I made a point of every Leviathan can swim except for Mrs. Sunin. Yeah, I I, wait, is Royal Ludoth technically a Leviathan? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is an emergency request. Right. Uh, so, 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 not sure for floor from my head, but I was like wondering, like, how, what happened to him? But why, how they forgot that? But due to the remote locate attack, the Emerald squad, they, they, they do a smooth. Yeah, that brain is pretty smooth, dude. What else is smooth? Apparently, me. Did Keith just call himself smooth? <laughs> So, I mean, his brain is pretty smooth. You still streaming Yasuna? Yep. Okay. Until probably uh, 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 11 o'clock. There's a red one over there. Okay, so the dens are always random each time you enter an expedition. So what can I get from this then?
But the monsters are always the same in this area. <clears throat> I believe so. Got another hero charm. Finding charm, that's a new one. Have you used the charms in the prayer um, thing yet, yeah? Yeah, I've always got some going. <laughs> mm, what can I get from this? There we go, rare egg. This is a young one that has two eggs. Damn it. I'm gonna have to build a freaking sniper and I hate it. Alright, I need to get um, a rare pookie pookie egg. No, it's the only egg I've not picked up yet. place to go in this map but I think it's an area I can't get to unless I have a flying monster which I don't have yet. So yeah I can't get to that one yet. So... Let's head back to the uh... Yankaku is weak to ice, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, this should be quite easy then. Since my teammate is Dick for using a Legayana, so. Best not to use level one in this area. So it's what will drop my level ten pookie pookie.
Let's see how bulky we can make here. Oh, I got a skill relaxation. Back to Ruffle Ward. <coughs> the top secret attack. Yeah, because it's an area I've not been in this area. Most of the Really, game? Did it actually just crash? <laughs> Fucking damn it! First time that's happened. Alright, that's the whole woods thing explored. I just need to come back and get the treasures. That's annoying. No. I'll come back once I get a monster if I can climb. Of course, I was pretty sure I had it at the time as well. Ah, oh, I got a new. I, I I never knew that. Never knew what? Um, you you can you can press quick finish if your monster's higher than your opponent. And what does it do? Yeah. It ends the battle. Just it automatically. Yeah. Away. It just automatically yeah. wins. Yeah. yeah. That's not egregiously no. stupid. You have to have a 10 level difference between you and your opponent. What's, what's which, max level? Which, something like that. Uh, I, God, God knows. It's, it's designed to speed grinding up. Yeah, uh, I think it's because I got a level... I think because I've got a level 10 Puke Puke, that would be why. So, uh, so yeah. I, I have a question there. Can you do that? Can you, 
Can you do that just to over level and automatically finish the boss battle? No. Oh, good. No. I was about to say, could you just do it to finish the last boss without fighting it? Boss, bo boss battles are way more tough than usually high level, level than you. Unless you grind. That quick finish is actually making it a lot easier now. I mean, you can grind if you want to, yes, but I ain't gonna stop you. Wow, did I really spend half an hour talking to this cat? Yeah. That cat's freaking it. Your cat was freaking worth it. No, because I was um, buffing my monsters. I need to get these ones low up to level 9 at least before I can <clears throat> So much fuzzy raw material. Can you even sell more supports? Or is it just yeah. the trailer? <coughs> trailer? You can sell you can sell most of <coughs> Yeah, I think I'll just sell my fucking fuzzy grown shit. Again, now that it didn't crash this time, it went quick, uh, quite well. Which is always a bonus. Nice. <clears throat> I blame Keith for crashing before. Wait, how's it my fault? Because you because you scared it with your smoothness, as you as you so claim to have. Keith's smoothness is something that I do not care for. Unbelievably, forces employed by Zeo Matrix have once again invaded the Irene. It's unclear what they are after, but these repeated incursions will not be tolerated. Remove all hostile forces occupying the mine. The intruders are monitoring the mine's main entrance. Therefore, you will be required to launch a surprise attack via the underground. The invading force has also disabled the mine's power supply, and we assume that the primary elevators are out of service. It's quite possible that an AC with inadequate boosters will not be able to access all areas of the mine. So prepare your AC accordingly. Oh my god, a, a level actually warning you, hey, you might want to have this or you can't complete it before you go in. Why are they being so nice? Main system. Engaging combat mode. 
And trust that. What? Don't trust that. <laughs> the power supply has been cut and the lifts disabled. Granted, it was really an obvious thing you should have known coming in, considering you've already gone through it once. Right, so three Gravios. Then I can get Killer Tackle on you. So why would three Gravios let you get that? Because uh, each one of them has Killer Tackle. And I need three to max out the gene's potency. Oh, so what are you doing? Just like... Killing them to mulch them for their genes? Pretty much. You're literally mulching them. Amazing. Mm. Well, how else are you supposed to make a strong buddy? By, uh, you know, not mulching things. And if I want to mulch... I mean, if you want to mulch, that's just you. Uh, also, by the way, Okay, so at this current point, my Friday nights have ended up getting busy, so I might not be able to do Jackbox unless we do those shorter earlier ones, but the other option is to is to move it to Saturday night. Which one works? Uh, which one I works? I can do it I'm on Friday and Saturday, so it's not an issue for me. Yes, I'll pose the question. People later. The ARG aircraft maintenance hangar is under attack. 
We believe the intended target of the attack is a bomber currently being overhauled in the hangar. In order to confuse the hangar's security team, the attackers have struck in their clever ploy of well, splitting our forces guaranteed. I'm gonna see you guys later. Only a matter yeah, of time chef, before you the bomber is discovered and destroyed. Nice day, chef. Proceed immediately to the maintenance hangar and guard the bomber. Good luck. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Well, I wish I wish it told you that earlier. What? Uh, the um the status boosting genes, the uh, attack, the health, and the defense of ones. It only takes into account whichever ones you're largest. What do you mean? So if you have all of them, it only takes the takes the highest one and ignores the rest. Yeah. yeah. And it just told you that now. It didn't tell me that. I had to literally tweet fiddle about with the monster until I worked it out that the uh, smaller ones weren't doing anything. <laughs> Oof. The old Sam waste treatment. It makes my life a little easier though, because it means I can put more attacks on my monsters and still have the same result. Taken these steps in an effort to prevent further damage to the environment. But clearly this is just a rule. I, I wish they stacked though, because it doesn't really make sense for them not to. Our team will attack the terrorists and back them into the smelting furnace at the rear of the plant. Once accomplished, eliminate all even the hard. Hey Brackadiers, come here. Long, if it falls into the <coughs> superheated magma on the lower levels, be careful and. And on. someone else saying lava or freaking magma weird. He said magma like it's M O G. Amazing. Main system. So this sounds like a very fun level. I get to fight inside inside of a smelting furnace. What does it smell like? Um, death. Interrogation of one of those involved in the attack on the ARG aircraft maintenance hangar revealed that the enemy has hidden a number of timed bombs within the facility. To make matters even worse, the enemy has modified the hangar's security system. Consequently, the system is attacking anyone who approaches. Our hands are tied. Please disarm all bombs within the facility. We will open the gates one by one and guide you've been given permission to... I'm just there. But that goes my dream of building the bulkiest attacker I could ever make. Yes, yeah, so I'm taking this sword off because I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to cut it and kill myself. I was loading up a, mon a monster with attack genes, defense genes, and health genes, and just letting it be as bulky as possible. Oh, and also giving it divine blessing. <laughs> you got two gammas. Gammas got literally a very high health pool. Actually, Gamma's health is kind of mediocre. In fact, its entire stat line is kind of mediocre. It's weird. 
Not a string of four guns will have a very high HP. to the room on the north side of the facility and disarm two bombs. Oh yes, yeah, the piggy piggy is retreating. Please move to the room in the northwest and disarm the bomb there. No, there's governor. Move over to you the get room my piggy piggy egg. Yeah, I hope I get a rare one. Yeah, we've got a rare one. You're looking for a good pookie pookie. Yeah. It's a good thing I decided to come up here and actually fight that pookie. Rachel, why are you doing stream announcements at half one in the morning? That is a good question, but I'm not Rachel. I know. So your sister is apparently going to start streaming at half past one in the morning. Great. My my sister's not Rachel. 
Then I don't know who the hell Rachel is. A uh, friend of mine. Must like doing things late at night? I mean, my sister does stream late. But she doesn't announce stuff late. She announces stuff like mid afternoon. How do you announce stuff? <laughs> Discord. Oh, right. Every streamer has a Discord where they announce stuff. I mean, at that point, I'm gonna have to get Nightbot or something to advertise Cobcord. That's just it. You, you, even you got Cobcord if you if you need to advertise. We are currently considering the sponsorship of a Raven from the Martian Arena. He has a solid history, but before making any commitments, we'd like to see him in action. A bogus request has been issued. But it's a case of question has been lured to you can announce, like, make an announcement at nine in the morning, not at one in the morning. Should he prove to be inadequate? Um, unless you're my sister, who makes her announcements at five in the evening because she streams from like ten p.m. because she works off of American time because it gets more viewers. You know, <coughs> this is a great level I have here. So this company wants to hire a guy, but but before hiring him and finding out he's not good, they're hiring me 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 to try and kill him. So they can find out if the person is good or not, Ooh. but I only get paid if I kill him. Joe. Yeah. This Pookie has got inflict rate of medium, anti venom medium, salt in the wood medium. That's very good. Inflict rate is great. Salt in the wound is amazing on Pookies. Who are you? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, so here? I just got a very good Pookie, so I'll be using this Pookie from now on. You're mistaken if you think I'm gonna stand in my way. Main system. Combat oh, and with the right of channeling, you want to aim for as many bingos as possible, both in terms of color and in terms of type. Because uh, you can get up to a 50% damage boost on all your monsters just by doing that. Well, what's telling? I'm not really got that far yet. Oh, you'll unlock that soon. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Alright, so now I've got to level up this fucking book here back up to level 11 and where it was. Oh come on, that's easy. My highs and mine's level 8 again. Yeah, but it's easy. All you have to do is do a few battles and all of a sudden it'll catch up with you. The objective is to put the facility out of action. To ensure your role in this mission is... But yeah, that guy stands no chance if they're recruiting him based on whether or not he can survive against you who's been paid. No, I mean, just what? That's just the worst kind. Just, just stupid. I mean, not really. It makes sense. You're pitting one person against another to test the ability of them, of them, uh, giving both of them an incentive. Yes, but yes, but the thing is, the unlike him, who who I guess they're they're hiring for a permanent job, I'm just doing I'm just doing whatever the fuck. They just literally hired me to see it to to kill the guy, and then that's it. I can just leave. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the biggest mistake they made was hiring you for the assassination job. Jesus Christ, could you give someone a harder chance? A harder also, chance for some to... reason, the freaking location of it was like inside of that freaking smelting furnace. It wasn't so much that I beat him as just the missiles blew up the floor and he sank and died. Amazing. <laughs> There was no actual, like, thought process used.
Like I'm like I'm not sure if the goal was to have me, you know, beat them up and not kill them, but they died as soon as they fell inside the smelting furnace. Well, I can make the oh, uh... oh guess I'm gonna get killed off Thunderbug. <laughs> Why a Thunderbug? Because I need one shocking extract to make the next upgrade of the So you have to great. kill the Thunderbugs? Yeah. I mean the easiest method of that is to is to go find a Zenogre and wait for it to summon one. Which in and of itself doesn't take too long. As a security precaution, all blocks within the facility will be sealed over. Attention all employees. Please evacuate the facility immediately. Let me through, I adrim. <laughs> Right, I've, I've now got the Royal Ludworth Great Sword, maxed out 58 in water. So that'll be my go to water tag. My next Great Sword to make will be the Great Jaggy one. Mm. Well, the Great Jaggy one that much better than the uh, Zer Serpent Blade? I wouldn't focus too much on mm. element yet. I'd say only focus on element if you're struggling with a battle. <laughs> the rugged great sword is a lot stronger than the serpent blade. Again, the only focus on element if you're struggling with a battle. It's not massively important at the stage of the game you're at, and you're going to be replacing these weapons anyway. By the time you hit a point where element's going to be necessary. <coughs> Yeah, don't overdo it, because the weapons don't upgrade infinitely. Are you yeah, sure? I've only got, yeah, I've only just bought a stronger greatsword, because it's... At this point, the biggest number is the number you want, regardless of its element. You know, Joe, I fucked up. My current current amount of money is 46, 46, 45. I feel like I missed a great opportunity somewhere. That's okay, you just need to get to 69, 69, 69, and you're all sorted. I've upgraded the hammer to max level. Because I can't make anything else with the time being. We've finally located the headquarters of the outlaw organization operating within our territory. It's situated in Gihen Crater. The group is responsible for numerous attacks on our transport planes, which they detect, track, and eventually destroy with the help of a powerful radar setup. It has taken a long time to pinpoint their location, and we can't let this opportunity pass us by. But there's a slight problem. Supposedly, the ringleader is a raven. This is still unconfirmed, but we'd like you to take charge just in case. You'll probably be detected before you reach the crater, so be prepared. We have reason to believe that the leader in charge of this is this guy, except we aren't sure. Here is a live satellite footage of the guy in the area. Amazing. System. Oh no. no it's what? Fine. I, can just, I can just grind it out. What's wrong? If I had enough ball caps, I could actually buy the Azorus armor. 
instead of grinding out all the doors. Might be worth to grind out the Azuras anyway, save the bottle caps for other stuff. Bottle caps? What is this, Fallout? No, it's the currency you trade with, with the felines. They don't collect money, they collect bottle caps. Grind, I should probably go to the next area to look for high monsters. Enemy AC detected. No, how do I check? How do I change the name? Uh, go to um, Monsty Info and then um, you should be an edit name option. So you want to do do Yang Yang Yakuku Ian? Yeah, it should be Ian Kuku. Instead of Y, it's just E. No, it's I A N Ian. Ian. You just take the Y. Just take the Y off the front. Do I make the I capital? Yeah. After all, who wouldn't want an Ian Cook coup? There you go. I've named my blue yak uh, Ian Cook coup. <laughs> Based. Ian Cook coup is going to go far in this world. Probably not. It's... Um, I want to want to name my Pookie Pookie, but I don't know what to name it to. You you watch that cookie is gonna be a sleeper hit because you gave it a good name. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's do a few more grinds to get a few levels up. I need to get picky picky up to scratch. And then you go to bed soon as well. Well, I've got you here. When are we gonna get access to mod not safe for work? My god, does it fucking exist? So what you're saying is that you nuked the entire channel to hide it from Joe. A successful campaign I didn't of deception has enabled nuke. Us to nuke what? <laughs> I didn't nuke you, any channel. You Wait, completely I'm destroyed right. the entire channel to hide it from Joe. Admit it. And one we must take advantage of. I told him time and time again if he wants to fucking ask us, ask me then. So you, you're saying that it, that it does exist and Maiden can give access? You, no, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> you, you never ask a lady for her feet. Their forces are cornered, but unfortunately, the area is littered with live mines left over. From okay, the so apparently these ball drum are not high, are not lower level than me. Due to these conditions, we've decided to. Sp 
someone has asked me to look at the feedback, that's just wrong. is really weak. Zoros or the enemy of Zoros? My Zoros. I never used Zoros, so I don't know if it's good or bad. The only reason I picked it up because obviously it's got the health boost thing, but if it hits really weak, I'm not going to use it. Even though it's only level 8, but yeah. Yeah, it's got no attacks. It's only attack it's got the honey one where it requires honey power. Yeah, but it has a natural tendency, so it does basic attacks. And the honey thing is good, it's like good, probably on a better mon that has more health, like a Gravios. No, I just didn't. Really shit in this round, but there were landmines, so everything killed themselves. When life gives you lemons, I guess. Honestly, I should I shouldn't have won that level. I should have fucking lost really, really bad. I think more than sixty percent of them killed themselves. Honestly, if I just bolted to the other side and waited, I probably would have won with almost little issue. Sounds like a speedrun strap. <laughs> I don't know, would have probably taken a bit. Alright, let's swap out Zoros for Great Jaggy. Let's see how Great Jaggy plays. When they were trapped by a contingent well, as long as you level it up to your level, you'll see what it's normally like. Yeah, it's like, they're all level 8, so they need to get up by 3 levels. Only the Bureau of will sink this low. The resources and manpower available to us are limited. Right, Great Jaggy can find eggs. Alright, that's a piggy piggy egg, but I don't want that. And I got a shiny Kuroyaku egg. There are no shinies, Drew. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sparkling egg, it's a rare egg. Say about five battles it takes. Somewhere along these lines, yeah. Does it, does it depend on what type of monster you're fighting, or as long as there's something around your power level? I'm the only one left. <laughs> 
all friendly units have been destroyed. Mission failed. System switched to normal. Well, that sucked. I thought the freaking I thought the guy I was supposed to defend left left the area. Apparently, he was just going around, and coming back in. Amazing. Wondering why it didn't end. There we go. Mod level nine. Pick piece level six. Kinda glad EVs do not exist in most until the story is kinda glad we do. Main system, engaging combat mode. They make or the game stupid. Or egg moves, yeah. Raven, we're out of For TV and oh they have egg moves. Every single one of them is an egg move. We make a run for it. Yeah, every single move, not like we Yeah, every single attack is an egg move. <laughs> they all learn when they come out of eggs. I need some easy money. That time went a lot better. Let's fast travel to the other area. See if we can get a grinding a bit faster with any stronger monsters. One of the planes we used to transport research materials was involved in an accident. It's last. It's possible that other corporations are uh, yes, in the situation mm -hmm. and will attempt to. This game the actually acknowledges the uh, policy of hip check as being dumb. Tries to interfere with the mission. Oh, so it's got it's got a technique called hyperspace tackle where it does a hip check in place and hits everyone in the party. <laughs> does it also hit your allies? Yeah, hits everyone. Hyperspace tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they know about the meme. What this a game meme! It's the worst hitbox on the planet! Yeah, this game acknowledged it. Are you proud of them? Yes, actually. It also spams it. <laughs> Ooh, about training charm. We've got a strong bio reading on the scanners. Be careful. 
castle. Whatever that means. Incoming message from ZL Matrix. Your orders have changed. You are to destroy all biological organisms. Hmm, let's, let's see. What kind of stupid <laughs> stupid biological organism can we make? Uh, let's make weird, like, shelled insects that jump and shoot bullets. Brilliant, let's go with that. So the natural evolution of conchies. No, because they don't roll, even though they, even though they look like they should roll. I guess they're kind of, kind of look like a flea. Oh my god, if we need we need a conchu that, that, that takes the notes from that. It can shoot bullets, but it also rolls. Also, when you when you when you shoot them a bunch, they just freaking explode. I'm pretty sure that's just the default. This thing died in this game. I think everything that can die explodes. Because how else Makes are you sense. supposed to know that this bug that, by the way, when you shoot it, does shoot out like like some weird greenish goo? But just just so you know that it died, we will also make it explode. Makes sense. <laughs> I mean, how else is he supposed to know that it's dead if it doesn't explode? I don't know, it, it explodes into a pile of the same color goo that flies out when you shoot it? Makes me wonder that if I was using a laser, would it still also shoot out the goo like I'm shooting it with a bullet? Mission objective. Probably. System switched to normal mode. Hello, Dio. your assistance in a rather delicate matter. Our target is a top-ranked raven and one very capable pilot. Oh, I thought you'd hit the one-hit KO there. <laughs> until he's out of the way. The target is currently engaged in a mission near Burroughs Hill. We'll launch our attack after he completes the mission oh, the and is broken. on his way back. I'll repay my debt to you in full once the mission is complete and I've obtained sponsors. Someone hiring me to help him kill someone. 30% chance this is... No, 40% chance this is a trap. Don't make eye contact and you'll be fine. Disappoint you, but there's no target AC. Oh, yep, it is a trap. I was hired to take you out. Don't make eye contact and you'll be fine, Yasuna. <clears throat> Main system. Engaging combat mode. And he's dead for probably the cost of the entire <laughs> entire payment I was going to get. What a pathetic Oh nope, someone else is coming in now. It's a two v one. Fun. This is Deer Hunter. Commencing attack as planned. Uh, Joe, have you ever seen seen the game Super Paper Mario? Yes, I have. So, okay, so so. Do you do you remember the voice of that stupid nerdy chameleon? 
No, I don't. Oh. <clears throat> well, I think this guy has the has the same voice. Wait, no, I'm. You know what? I am being stupid. They didn't actually. I don't think they had a voice. That was just the guy reading it gave him a nerdy voice because the guy was. Yeah, really, really weird character concept. And I'm gonna lose this fight because I was not. Ex I was not ex uh, planning to keep ammo for a second fight. I should have though. So that was on me. Yeah, you should always plan to keep ammo for a second fight. You don't know how many fights there are. I honestly should have. Honestly, I was thinking that I was gonna have to fight both of them at these at these uh, at the same time, which it didn't. But I think the guy also had freaking missile decoys, so I burned a lot more ammo than I should have. Well, Plan B. Going with just a shit ton of damage and a lot of backup explosives. I like uh, talk, the talk. I'll re Sounds so blessed. What? What? Coming. Sorry to have to disappoint you, but there's no Just mentioned bussy. I was hired to take you out. Prepare to meet your maker. You mentioned plan B. <laughs> I, did, I did mention plan B, yes. Day for really high damage. What a pathetic excuse <coughs> for a raven. This is Deer Hunter. Commencing attack as planned. Okay, the jaggy strikes have been quite good. Oh, that worked. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. Now to use the not overpowered weapon for the rest of this as long as I can help it. So how do you tell when it's rare, when it shoots out shining squares? What? They shine it should glow when you pick it up. So what does a rare egg do? We're requesting your help with an attack. Uh, it has a high it has a higher chance of having rare genes. The attack is part of our <coughs> continuing effort. The facility is located in a You know what this uh, reminds me of? That one game about like resurrecting dinosaurs by digging up fossils. Never actually played it though. Well, Jurassic Park. No. There was there was like a game which was kind of like this. Except that you would like dig up fossils to freaking resurrect them to fight basically the same kind of thing. The reconnaissance team also indicated oh, yeah, the monster catching genre is very, very similar to all very, very similar to each other. It's why I don't understand the reputation Pokemon grew and retains. Like, they don't do anything special with it. <laughs> but they were first. They weren't even first. Sorry, what? They weren't even first. What came before Pokemon? <laughs> uh, Dragon Quest had a series where they had monster catching. No, I've uh, never there was played another... a single Dragon Quest game. There were another couple of uh, monster catching games uh, that came even before that. Honestly, the monster catching genre is a lot older than you think it is. <laughs> Probably.
yes, here is one of the shortest levels that you've done so far. The enemies have very little ammo. In like the third room, let's give you something to refill your ammo. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you might be running low, you know. In possible. I'm not one to judge. You might be running low on ammo and need a cheeky restart. Why did you throw cheeky in front of that? Because restocking your ammo mid mission is cheeky. So surprisingly, this one hasn't had plane syndrome, which is quite nice. Wait, wait, there's another thing to re freaking replenish my ammo. You might have been running low. <laughs> I'm not, but now the question is, where is it? Okay, I can't go that way. Got a couple of ivory Lagaya cruisers and then I'll be good to go. I've not found my third Azoros yet. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is the Monster Hunter Rise of Monster Hunter Rise. What? <laughs> well, I finished an area yeah. and I have four, four minutes left, so I'm going to call it here. Probably can't finish up the game tomorrow, but I'm going to attempt it. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is the Dark Souls of Pokemon. What? <laughs> what? Why do you keep saying this is the Dark Souls of this? You aren't a gaming magazine. <laughs> well, stories 2 can get challenging at times, especially the boss fights. Stop comparing everything to Dark Souls to get views! <laughs> so, any... Any more witty shit you want to say, Joe? 
Come on. He did nothing wrong. <laughs> Dark Souls is the monster hunter of D&D. What? What? <laughs> the fuck does that even mean? How does that even work? I don't understand. Well, Monster Hunter was hard before Dark Souls, and Dark Souls is an RPG game like D&D. Makes perfect sense. But it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it does. No! No, it doesn't. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Dude! Oh, man. There's a hit for the Zorus. To everyone? How, how does it not follow? Okay, good night, Joe. <laughs>